The M5 Stick C is a slightly cheaper younger sibling to the M5 Stack, with its smaller screen and lower price at about £15 here in the UK depending on which model you get. For that money you get a startling amount of kit. The 0.96 inch screen is colour with 80x160 pixels and inside the unit is an ESP32 Pico with its own onboard battery. There are three GPIO ports broken out of the pins at one end and two other ports at the Grove connector end just under the USB-C port which is used to charge and connect to a computer for programming. There's also three buttons around the case which are also connected to GPIO and not forgetting the onboard IR and all the other features you get with ESP32 chips like onboard real-time clock, Bluetooth, accelerometer and so on. Now the included battery is stated in the spec as 95 milliamp hours at 3.7 volts and unlike the M5 stack you can't get the optional extra battery add-on so it feels like one of the most important things we need to know on this unit is how long does the battery last? Well let's find out. First I coded a short program that reads the battery data from the onboard AXP192 battery control chip. I was able to obtain voltage, charge and current and print this to the screen. I also coded in a brightness control and binded that to the main button on the front. The M5 Stacks LCD is likely to be one of the main sources of power consumption for the unit, however I felt that it wouldn't be terribly useful to test how long it runs with this off as an M5 stick without an LCD is pretty much just an ESP32 with a battery. However, I think we can work out how long this would run with the screen off using the data we're obtaining here anyway. So I tested the battery on the lowest and highest screen brightness. Fully charged, the battery reported about 4.1 volts and the unit switched itself off when it got down to around 3.01 volts. On minimum brightness, the unit lasted 1 hour and 20 minutes. On full brightness, it lasted 1 hour 15 minutes. And that's really only slightly less. It would appear that the screen doesn't consume much power in the end, with my estimates showing that you would only get a couple more minutes if you had the screen entirely off. Now it's worth mentioning one important fact that some of you might at this point be screaming at the screen. That is that I didn't test any of this using the sleep or power saving settings in the Arduino code. Correct, I do plan to cover this as part of an entire video in the near future on how to save power on this M5 stack stick architecture. I just didn't want to get into that because it can get quite complicated and if you just buy the product and you want to write some code on it, you just want to know how long the battery lasts without having to do all that. Now I hope this video was of some help to you, perhaps I can convince you to click the like button if you did find it useful. And if you want to see more like this, then do please subscribe. Otherwise, thank you for watching.